Well, good morning and welcome to The Home Show. Mike Pace is my name. Today we're going to talk about townhomes, two different neighborhoods, uh, one in Norwalk, one in West Des Moines, and uh, Rick Wanamaker will be here a little bit later with this week's great Iowa home feature. Townhome living. Scott uh, Steelman is here, bonafide expert on townhomes, <laughs> among other things. Good to see uh, you, good Scott. Good morning. Good. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm going to wave this around. The ranch townhomes are here. Now, you've been selling the two stories like popcorn, but there are people who love ranch That's plants. Right over at uh, Covenant Cove, That's right? correct. We are going to break ground March 15th with our first uh, ranch building. And this sort of allows me to speak to you and we'll talk about some pre-sales and a little yeah. bit of activity. Excellent. Well, uh, CCS Homes, our builder here, uh, two or three things come to mind immediately. One is uh, energy efficiency. Right. And uh, extra soundproofing, That's, things like that yes. that, that uh, not every builder is going to do for you. Uh, exceeds the Energy Star category. That's right. Uh, flexibility, customization yes. with a townhome. Now that's that's pretty cool. We, it's very unique. We will allow you to come in. We have a set floor plan, but if you had something in mind that was a little different than what we en envisioned, we absolutely want to see it. We'll draft it. We'll see if we can do that. The only really limitations, honestly, are the windows. We can't move those or sure. the staircase. Sure. Yeah. But everything else is up for up on gate. You know, we'll make it work. Well, talk about the location briefly. This is a Waukee School District situation in West Des Moines. That's am I right? right. Covenant Cove is off of University and 95th. And this is a, the two-story model that I have to work out of until we get some ranches standing. Mm -hmm. You would just simply come past where you maybe see restaurants and shopping there. Um, one of note would be Wasubi or, the, or Wasabi or um, uh, Jethro's. Sure. But we are um, in a wonderful location in West Des Moines with our properties. It gives us the chance to, um, you're quick to school, you're quick to work, you're quick to the interstate, um, just right off of university. Now, when we say 239.5, that's going to attract some attention in today's world. Yes. Especially with a builder with commercial experience and, and the kind of quality that uh, Alan Sprinkle brings to the, the table. We really are benefiting when the somebody comes and takes a tour they can I mentioned to them that they're quieter at the end of most of our conversations you don't hear the cars going past out and you definitely don't see um, there are here the neighbors next door now this looks new tell me about uh, this so in the two car garage of our two-story we have a somewhat of a design center we have selections that are the standard ones we have our carpet or tile this was showing the cabinetry stains and paints and uh, designs as well as then countertops nice um, pulls and tile yeah so, so even at 239.5 there are lots of choices uh, in addition to being able to move uh, that floor plan around a little bit right yeah that's great and we have a full basement we have radon system in each one and the association has yard irrigation so they're going to just be maintained excellently ex uh, on the outside as well as the options that you provide yourself on the inside. So we have three two stories ready to go. One, uh, you can still make those choices. And then these 21 ranches are going to, we're going to break ground in March and away we go. That's right. Excellent. Pre-selling starting about 247 for a terrific ranch floor plan from a builder that knows how to do it. And uh, those fence hangers, they might want to take a look here because this is the way to go when it comes to uh, an affordable townhome by a great builder. We look forward to talking to him. You yeah. bet. Yeah. And for the jam on the cracker, $1,000 toward your closing with Home Services Lending and Open House Today, 1 to 4 with Scott Steelman. Thanks. Thank you. Keep up the good work. We want you to think about the Iowa Realty team when it comes to insurance. Home Services Insurance, uh, an independent agency, part of a national network offering solutions in auto, home, and umbrella, part of our team down the hall in the building. Coming up shortly, Rick Wanamaker, our 2020 Agent of the Year at Iowa Really, will be here to talk about a great Iowa home. Stay with us. What a way to begin. 6.4 acres in West Des Moines with six bedrooms and six bathrooms. Quail Park is the neighborhood. Privacy and beauty inside and out. A gorgeous home priced at $1,150,000. Kathy Beals from Iowa Really. Tiffany DeHaan with another wonderful one-of-a-kind home with a brand new price of $960. Uh, windows on a beautiful private setting, gourmet kitchen, open plan for entertaining, West Des Moines schools, again, $960 is that price. Deborah McGee, three bedrooms, three baths, 
You get the pickleball, the pool, and the clubhouse when you live at Mill Ridge. Hubble is the builder. Open house every Saturday and Sunday, noon to five. This one priced at $349.9. Joanne Manning with three bedrooms and three baths. Uh, Walkout Ranch Townhome, and she says uh, the best location you can imagine. Uh, it won't last at 285, has a great association. Sunroom and a nice deck is a great feature. Again, 285. Our guest, Scott Steelman, with three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Townhome living by CCS Homes. And this is Covenant Cove. You can customize, they're energy efficient, and Scott will be there from one to four to give you the tour. Ranch homes are coming. Layla Granger, two bedrooms, two baths in a great West Des Moines location. Big kitchen, living room area, new stainless appliances, new siding and roof coming soon. Price here is $178.9. AJ Calra, five bedrooms, three baths. Inside and out, you'll see nothing but quality here. Master bedroom with vaulted ceilings, gourmet kitchen, beautiful fireplace in the great room, lots of windows, $564,990. Let's go to Urbandale, Frank Hansen, with a four bedroom, a story and a half, four bath areas, custom built home on a beautiful spot here. Walk out lower level, first floor master suite. The hot tub will stay if you like, 584. Sunny Green in Urbandale with five bedrooms, four bathrooms, Waukee School District here. Uh, walk out lower level, it's a nice ranch with about 4,000 square feet, new white kitchen cabinets, uh, could be a multi generational situation, 420. Anita Nemers with two bedrooms and two baths. The question comes to mind, why rent? Condominium living here with lots of updates. It's been remodeled, the dues are low, single car garage, $89,000. To Clive we go in a brand new listing. Stephanie Wright with four bedrooms and four baths near Campbell Park, nice established Clive neighborhood. First floor with two-story entryway, vaulted family room, high ceilings, tons of windows, 429.9. Chris Folson, Clive. Again, why rent comes to mind. This has to be the most affordable condominium in the Clive area, near Valley West Mall with quick interstate access, new LVT flooring, swimming pool, 64,000. Ken Whitehead in Clive, open house one to four today. Quality everywhere, beautiful views, a recent remodel, new Pella windows, quartz counters, about 4,300 square feet for 529. Bob Seeley. As we go to Waukee, the new Springcrest neighborhood here, and this is brand new from Paramount Homes. Three bedrooms, two baths, triple garage, walkout lower level, and Bob will be there from one to three, 434.9. Same neighborhood taking shape, another nice new ranch, open house one to three, about 1,700 square feet on the main level, a lot of beautiful finishing touches, plenty of storage, and again, 434.990. Jake Reed in Waukee with four bedrooms and three baths, triple garage, walk out lower level. This is from Neighborhood Builders. Gracewood Pond, that's kind of your backyard here. Uh, Waukee Schools, the Green Belt, Reagan Park close by. Mike Kenline with three bedrooms and three baths. Terrific quality updates in this townhome. A long list of them. Good solid value here at 269.9. The main floor has a nice den or office. Master Suites, a nice one. Megan Shelley with a three bedroom home, two bath areas, nice ranch in Waukee, has an open floor plan, privacy fence in the backyard, a nice oversized deck, lots of updates including radon mitigation and the gutters, new vinyl siding, 215. Selling a home can be intimidating. That's why it's best to call in reinforcements. At Iowa Realty, our extensive team provides comparative market analysis, lending services for interested buyers. You guys are gonna love this place. And the expertise to handle anything out of left field. Easy there, Rocket. So you can sell your home faster, celebrate sooner. Cheers, your house is officially sold. Start your sale at iowarealty.com. The Ridge at Echo Valley, site of a recent home show with a Norwalk address. This is a beautiful Tuscan home, a great Iowa home that Rick Wanamaker is going to tell me all about. Rick's good to see you again. Good to see you, Mike. Uh, yeah, this is one of the hot spots in the whole metro, Norwalk, these days, and that beautiful 
uh, 27 hole uh, championship golf course out there is a great spot for a home. It really is and I think anybody looking for a round a million dollar home ought to visit Norwalk. It's not the Norwalk that you remember. Oh boy. Yeah we were chatting before going on camera and I went to high school in Norwalk and uh, of course, this was cornfield uh, back in those days, but it certainly has become a hot spot in the in the metro. Yeah, those cornfields have been planted with houses. Yes, they and, have. Uh, that ridge at Echo Valley is certainly a beautiful spot. It's had the site of two different home shows, and there's a lot of million dollar sales that took place in there. In fact, one house just sold for one and a half million. Uh, and he's one of your neighbors, as it turns That's right. out. That's exactly right. So now this is a 6,000 square foot uh, two story walkout. And we have some incredible photos here we want to take a look. Uh, and again, the growing schools, the uh, quick commute into the city, a lot of things to talk about. New retail, new commercial? Yes, it's, I mean, Norwalk's a good place, but this house is a place you'd want to visit. We've had several people move from uh, Glen Oaks to Norwalk because of the golf course. And this particular house has a lot of outdoor living features, uh, which are very nice basketball barbecue, fire pit, all kinds of great things inside. It's a very spacious house. The styling is Tuscan, and it's true Tuscan with travertine floors, a very large eating area with uh, del deluxe appliances, a big two-story family room. When you walk in, it's enormous. It feels like you have a feeling of an enormous house. Got a more intimate areas for TV. There's a sunroom. Beautiful that windows. Looks over the golf course. Uh, well, an obvious office. quality everywhere you look. Five bedrooms and five baths here. It's a custom home, and the seller wouldn't be selling except uh, got a job opportunity elsewhere. By the way, you don't have to uh, be a member of Echo Valley Country Club to live here at Echo Valley, the Ridge. Uh, but a nice restaurant and clubhouse there for. That's right. Uh, and residents. We're just looking at the basement, which has a, it's a walkout basement with theater room and great entertaining area there. House in great shape. It was, it was a custom built home, backing up to the golf course, all by you know with a great view and plenty of space around. So it's a good one to consider, and uh, I don't want anyone to overlook Norwalk. Well, absolutely. I think it's past being overlooked these days because of all the good things that are happening. So if you just joined us, our Great Iowa Home feature is this Tuscan two-story at the Ridge at Echo Valley on that gorgeous golf course at Norwalk. A uh, quick commute into the airport or downtown or West Des Moines or wherever you want to go. I don't know if you saw the uh, publicity about the new Norwalk Central, the new hub that's going to take place uh, on the uh, north end of town there, 620 acres being developed. It'll be something similar to the district in Ankeny. So uh, right. Norwalk is on the come for sure. Rick Wanamaker's at our Valley West office. The price tag is nine eighty nine for this wonderful home. And I know Rick would love to give you the private tour, right? I sure would. Give me a call. Good to see you, Rick. Come right, back thanks, soon. Mike. More great Iowa homes, of course, can be seen at iowarealty.com. Great time to be a luxury buyer. Coming up, we go across the highway to the Legacy, another terrific golf course in Norwalk, Town Home Living. Stay with us on The Home Show. This is Grimes, one of the hot spots in the metro. Five bedrooms and three baths here. Better than 2,500 square feet, two by six construction. This might be the one. It's a walkout ranch and a price tag of $355. And Alexis Johnson will give you the tour. Tanya Shira with four bedrooms and four baths. This is a Des Moines address south of Grand in town acreage. A stately colonial, a nearly new roof, lots of windows and natural light, Seven seventy-four nine is the price. Jan Steele in Des Moines, two bedroom home with two bath areas at Vintage Park Cooperative. This is Beaverdale. And you really need to ask for a tour to get the whole picture here. It's quite a concept and a great location. Heated underground parking, 147. Rick Wanamaker, our 2020 Agent of the Year for Iowa Really with four bedrooms and six baths. This is uh, Country Club Knowles, the neighborhood in that Waterbury uh, Harwood area of the city. An updated two-story, how about a $100,000 kitchen remodel, $975. let us go to $3750 on Grand. Totally unique, gracious condominium living here with lots of options at the site of the old Christian Science Church. Great location. Party room, outdoor pool, fitness center, guest suites. Wow. Next up, Jennifer Brown. A new price here at the Plaza. Imagine the views from the 17th floor 
New price is $339, two bedrooms and two baths. Of course, tennis courts, the sun deck, the community room, rooftop pool, and more. Randy Kramer also downtown. Lots of great views from this spot at the Edison. Uh, he has the rooftop patio, the penthouse, if you will, attached garage plus an outdoor parking space, three sides of floor to ceiling windows for 420. BJ Knapp also at the Edison, nine different floor plans, and they are selling fast. 10 year tax abatement, of course, 245 for this one. BJ will be there from one to four. Edison is a bright idea. Tammy Claiborne, two bedrooms and two baths. You can walk to your whole lifestyle at the East Village here. Uh, the Soho Lofts, secure gated entryway, underground heated parking, and a price of 225, Tammy Claiborne. Karen Helgeson with two bedrooms and two baths, an affordable downtown condominium, nice open concept, big windows, 10 foot ceilings, high V right across the street, walking distance to farmer's market and restaurants, 219.9. Steve Camarona says, why rent? Three bedroom home, which is a brand new listing, has a big fenced yard with two storage sheds on the property, a big double garage detached, enclosed back porch, a price of just 105. Alexis Johnson with two bedrooms and three bath areas. Another new listing with endless potential here. Needs a little TLC, but uh, you can see that value rise quickly and a price of 115. Iowa Realty's LeBrent Lawler with three bedrooms and two baths, brand new from Hubble Homes. This is, of course, tax abatement country here at Riverwoods on the southeast side. County Little League uh, soccer fields and baseball fields nearby, 264.9. Same neighborhood. This is what another uh, Hubble home will look like at River Woods. And Marcus Serig is the uh, professional to talk to. Kohler faucets, GE appliances, 30 year dry basement guarantee, 269.9. Park Fleur condominiums, modern mid century high rise on four plus acres overlooking Wakanda Club. Architecturally designed condominium here with two bedrooms and two baths. And Joe Henry would love to give you the tour. You can't believe it. Next up, Here's an outstanding four bedroom ranch with three bath areas, move in ready, and Kelly will be there from one to three. Living room with fireplace, big eat in kitchen, all the appliances. How about an 18 by 33 seasons room at 319.9. Kevin Randleman with three bedrooms and three baths, a Des Moines address, and a 24 by 40 metal building on the property. Eat in kitchen, uh, refrigerator range, dishwasher, microwave will stay, nearly new carpet. Fresh paint, 249.9. Lucrezia Moore with two bedrooms and two baths. Wakanda living here with views of that fabulous golf course. You can watch the Principal Charity Classic from your own property. Lower level potential for extra square footage and 474. Jennifer Brown, as we go to Ankeny, two bedrooms and two baths in this townhome, about 1,200 square feet, plenty of closet space, shopping and entertainment and schools nearby. And Jennifer will be there from one to four today, the price 133. Well, you gotta see it to imagine all the possibilities here. 41 plus acres, a story and a half home with more than 4,000 square feet, two outbuildings plus a horse barn. And Dakota Reed would love to show you around a million 249. Kevin Kelsey in Ankeny, three bedrooms and two baths. Quite a list of updates, windows, the roof, fresh paint throughout, oversized double garage to go with the three bedrooms and two baths, 239.9. Johnston now and Alexis Johnson with three bedrooms and two baths, a tree lined location here, nice ranch, open house one to three. This is brand new from well built homes, quartz countertops, wonderful kitchen in the middle of the home, 314.9. Chelsea Schaefer in Johnston, five bedrooms, four baths, updated kitchen, a finished uh, lower level with daylight windows. Nice deck overlooking the walking trails. Very a scenic spot here at Crosshaven, 392. Jody Ingham and Johnston, three bedrooms, three baths from Hubble Homes, the Scranton two-story plan here at uh, Bridgewood North. Timber Ridge uh, Elementary is nearby. Lots of trees, interstate access, 264.9. Working with a designer can actually save money. 
The design team at The Elements can help you stay on budget and spend your dollars where they will add real value. Art and accent pieces can help embellish, but avoid extras that don't really add livability. Keep it simple. The Elements can help you navigate your project wisely and affordably from a single setting to your entire home. The Elements, in Storm Lake and at Prairie Trail in Ankeny. We're anything but ordinary. Time for the home stretch on the home show. This is Norwalk and five plus acres. Magnificent story and a half with geothermal on the pavement. Incredible views and privacy. Just minutes from West Des Moines and downtown. A million eight ninety. Laura Knapp would love to show you around. Susie Marker, who happens to be a resident of Norwalk. She can sing the praises. Great commute uh, into the city. Tax abatement. Great schools. Open house today, one to four at the Legacy 18 hole public golf course and a price here of 409 and change. David Chabold, our guest today, will be at the Legacy noon to five, three bedrooms and three baths, about 2,000 square feet here. Be sure and ask about use as you choose $3,000 towards your upgrades if you can close by the end of March. Julie Samuelson in Norwalk with four bedrooms and three baths on about half an acre here. Builder is Tanzanite Homes, gourmet kitchen, high-end quartz countertops, Irrigation system, covered deck, Blooming Heights, the neighborhood, 515 and change. This is Indianola, also from Tanzanite Homes. A neighborhood here taking shape of move-in ready Tanzanite property. Very affordable, but quality construction, 288 and change. Typical price, three bedrooms, three baths uh, in Indianola. Next up, Julie in the same neighborhood can show you a three bedroom, two bathroom plan. The Streamline series from Tanzanite, several choices, optional lower level finish, and some home sites available as well, 277, 830. Connie Brosder with an Adel address, tax abatement in Adel, of course those brick streets, charming courthouse, great schools, and a quick commute into the city. Good I-80 access from this neighborhood as well, open house one to four, 269.9. Becky Knight, just east of Baxter, Iowa. Four bedrooms, four baths, nice ranch acreage here. About 20 minutes to Des Moines on the pavement. Quality craftsmanship and a price of $375. This is Carlisle, Brady Jackson. Two bedroom home, why rent comes to mind. Lots of potential here. This Carlisle cottage sold as is. Uh, open house 11 to four. Gina Thompson with a Corridon address as we go south. Three bedrooms, two baths, original gingerbread woodwork here. Lots of updates, uh, probably an hour from the Metro. 87.5 is the price. Tanner Lloyd from Iowa really in New Virginia with three bedroom home. This ranch priced at 99.9. Again, we're gonna have to say, if you're renting, take a hard look. I-35 schools, quick commute to the Metro, and uh, again, under $100,000. 257 acres, beautiful Madison County countryside, 84 acres tillable, an unfinished 1,600 square foot home with triple garage, a Peru address, and Rachel Eller like to talk to you, a million five ninety three and change. Jamie Ball with the Pleasantville address here, nice ranch, small town living with a quick commute to the city, four bedrooms, single level living, 1,300 plus square feet for 149.9 in Pleasantville. About 20 minutes east of the city to Prairie City we go, and a two bedroom home, nice fireplace, uh, plenty of storage here, lower level potential for extra square footage, low taxes, less than a half an hour to Des Moines, 165. And Rick Wanamaker with a winter set address, about uh, three acres here, uh, great schools, quick commute. If you're looking to escape the city, this is a nice way to go, 4,170 square feet of luxury for 699. Norwalk, next stop on the home show. David Chabold is here uh, working with Hubble Homes at the Legacy Golf Course Living in Norwalk. And what's it been, about a decade, David? It's been 12 years now down there. Amazing. Well, we're going to talk about the uh, Legacy Circle Villas. Let's define terms. It's This is basically a traditional townhome, if I've got it right. It is right. It's attached uh, ranch townhomes, so they mm -hmm. all are ranches. Yeah. Um, and it's a great community as far as... You know, if you're looking for a maintenance-free lifestyle, give yourself a little more time for 
the important things in life. A lot of snow, you don't have to worry about it. Um, lock and leave if you want to go somewhere for the winter. It's right. a really great lifestyle. Oh yeah. Well, and you, uh, you have a clubhouse and a pool. You have trails surrounding this beautiful 18-hole public championship PGA golf course. Uh, so pretty nice, uh, pretty nice spot. And then this quick commute uh, from Norwalk into the city, which has got to be the best in the whole metro. Yeah, I, I really believe Norwalk is the best commute, especially if you're working downtown or in West Des Moines. Right. I mean, you're 15 minutes or less to get to either of those locations and, and just a lot less traffic coming from the south side there. Yep. And every year, more people are getting it. They're understanding this low maintenance idea with uh, townhome living. And Hubble, wow, they know how to do townhomes. They do. They not only provide a great quality home, but like we talked about, they provide a, a lifestyle for their uh, communities with the clubhouse pool. Um, put a lot of really quality features in, in the home for the price range, being in the upper 250s. Um, you have the soft closed cabinets, uh, doors and drawers, quartz counters in your kitchen, tile backsplash. Uh, just a really good sized kitchen for the size of the home being just under 1200 square feet on the main level of this home you're seeing. Yep. Uh, this one is 825 Sawgrass listed at uh, 257 400 so a great price point. Uh, not only with the main level everything you need but a lower level finish of about another 800 square feet. So if you need that extra space for get togethers things like that you have that opportunity in this home. And if you're not familiar with Hubble Homes, Iowa's largest builder, uh, in-house warranties, 30-year dry basement guarantee brand names like Kohler and GE everywhere you look. Uh, gosh, uh, a design studio in West Des Moines. Yeah, it's a great package. Hubble Homes really cares about their homeowners, tries to make it easy for you and, and provide you with a top quality home. And Norwalk is really a bright spot. It's a hot spot uh, in the metro right now with growth tax abatement on new construction for some more savings, those great uh, schools, new retail, new commercial, and again, that commute just couldn't be better. So open house every Saturday and Sunday at all Hubble neighborhoods around the metro, including uh, the Legacy. David will be there today from noon to five, and uh, always uh, closing costs paid with home services lending, and quickly, 3,000 bucks. A $3,000 incentive if you write an offer before March 31st, you can put that towards upgrades, customize the home a little bit. Better than a kick in the head. Thank you, David. We'll Thanks, send Mike. him out for open house. Yep. I want to mention Midland Title and Escrow, Iowa's uh, largest independent settlement company, uh, part of the team down the hall in the building, keeping that transaction under one roof. And that's our show. Put us on your calendar, 10 a.m. every Sunday here on Local 5 in our 38th year on your Sunday morning. Mike Pace, till next time, have a great week. Working with a designer can actually save money. The design team at The Elements can help you stay on budget and spend your dollars where they will add real value. Art and accent pieces can help embellish, but avoid extras that don't really add livability. Keep it simple. The Elements can help you navigate your project wisely and affordably from a single setting to your entire home. The Elements, in Storm Lake and at Prairie Trail in Ankeny, we're anything but ordinary.